tell you that no evidence was found in connection with that case. The latest chapter in the search for Maura Murray has led to another dead end. State police and the FBI dug up the floor of a house on Route 112 in Haverhill, but found no evidence tied to her missing persons case. Murray disappeared in February of 2004 after crashing her car not far from the spot of today's search. She vanished and has not been heard from since. Some private citizens stated that they believed that there was a body, in fact, in that home, uh, in the basement. Associate Attorney General Jeff Strelzen says those private citizens based those theories on evidence from cadaver dogs and ground penetrating radar. Investigators had searched that area before, as recently as last month, and today focused their efforts on a spot where those private searchers had found what Strelzen called disturbed ground. And so what happened today is that a team of over a dozen uh, agents and detectives went into that basement, they cut that area, removed the concrete, and then searched several feet down and covered the entire area and beyond where that disturbed ground uh, had been and they located absolutely nothing other than a small piece of what looks to be uh, potentially uh, pottery, or maybe a piece of old piping. Despite today's results, officials say they will continue to follow leads and try to solve this 15-year-old mystery. Uh, the message is the same, which is that everybody involved remains committed to following every lead that's out there to try to get answers to what happened to more. Authorities say that this has been hard on the Murray family and the people who live in that particular neighborhood, but they will continue to look and follow all their leads to get the answers that they need. Reporting live, I'm Andy Hershberger, WMUR News 9. And again, this is just the latest chapter in a long and terrible ordeal for the Murray family, but they do say tonight they will not give up hope. WMUR's Jennifer Crompton spoke with Moore's brother and her father today. Jen? Well, loved ones have been here all day. They arrived early this morning. Today, yet another disappointment in a long and very painful journey for her family. Family members waited along Route 112 in North Haverhill, an area they know all too well, yet again hoping for closure. It was February 9th, 2004, that 21-year-old Maura Murray went missing. It's tough because it's, answers are hard to come by. You know, we can only, only be told so much, and that's been the story for 15 years. The property searched today very near where Maura Murray's crashed car was found that night. Her father says informants told him 14 years ago that a body was buried inside this house. Its new owners recently letting his own investigators and now authorities inside. Dig until you find her. <laughs> and that's, that's my attitude. But there's four dog, uh, three dog hits in the same spot and a uh, radar hit. So there's something there. Somebody is there. How do you feel about this? I think it's my daughter, think but it's here. somebody's. Word this afternoon that investigators found nothing, not what the family hoped to hear. This one hurts because I thought we finally had it. This one is worse than the other false alarms or dead ends. Fred Murray saying this when asked what we should know about his daughter. That she wants to come home and be buried in her hometown. And she can't be buried up here. And I need help. Fred Murray says he's asked the FBI to take this on full time. He knows that probably won't happen, but he's not giving up on his daughter. The strain on this family, heart wrenching to watch. We're live in Haverhill, Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.